Crowds file into the Missouri Theater on any given night, but not everyone used to walk through its front doors. And I remember uh, we had to go in the side door, and when we got to the balcony, it was so crowded. Uh, we sat uh, into the balcony all the way to the back. Reverend Raymond Hayes remembers standing in the rain and the cold, waiting to get in while the white theater goers stood inside. We knew it was not fair, and we would complain about it, but you know, what can you do, you know? Now there's a plaque outside the theater's side door in memory of those days. It's easy to pass by without even noticing. And no one seems to know how this plaque got here in the first place. I don't, I don't really know the history of the plaque itself. Um, yeah, I really don't. I'm, I'm actually shocked. Uh, again, I've never seen it, um, but uh, to think that that was there to, you know, all those years that I've gone to that theater, even recently. The plaque might be small and inconspicuous. Its words, lest we never forget again, are not. I think we need a reminder um, in order to celebrate uh, how far we've come, but also to serve as a reminder of the work that we have yet to do. Yeah, back in the day. For Hayes, the memories of his first days at the theater remained with him for a long time. I never did sit on the lower floor until many years later. I still felt more comfortable sitting in the balcony. Uh, it, it just. He just didn't feel right, you know. He says he used to take his wife to the theater during his courting days in college. He still takes her there today, but now he gets to sit wherever he wants. Emily Allen, KOMU 8 News, Columbia.